Hello friends and welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we are going to see how to connect to a database in Power BI Desktop. Now, Power BI Desktops gives you an ability to connect to various other data sources that are available in the market. Now, in order to import any kind of data, you simply have to go under the Home tab and under the Home tab, you will find a Get Data drop-down menu. If you click on that Get Data drop-down menu, you can see there are a whole bunch of options which we can select from and import our data. We can import data through Excel database, from Access database. We also have something called as SQL server we can also use text or CSV file to import this data now if you are searching for more and more options if you see at the bottom you can see there is a more option where you can simply click on and you will find bunch of more options out there as well now how to import data in Power BI desktop we will be having a better understanding of this in our practical approach Hello friends and welcome. In this video, we are going to learn how to connect to a database in Power BI desktop version. So let's start by launching this application. Whenever we open the Power BI desktop version, a pop-up window like this will appear right in front of you, which is asking you to sign in. But why should I sign in and what's the advantage of it? Whenever we do that, it enables you to collaborate across the different departments and distribute the content or the reports that we have generated using this tool in our organization quite efficiently. So sharing of reports and contents become much more easier when I use the sign in feature. Also, on your right hand side, I can see something called as what's new. If you click out here, it will automatically direct you to the Power BI community from where you can get the latest version or the improved version of Power BI. Also, we have something called as Power BI blog and forums. Out here, you can get the latest news about the Power BI. If there are any updates or any changes which are necessary to do, you can find in this blog. Also, there is a forum which helps me to uh, solve my query. If you have any questions, you can ask it in, ask it to the Power BI team or to the Power BI expert across the globe. Now, out here, we are going to learn how to connect to a database. So I'll move on to my left hand side and I will click something called as get data. So whenever I click on get data, it will automatically guide me to that screen where I can fetch the data from. So let me click on it. The moment I click on get data, another window like this will pop up in front of you. As we have already discussed that Power BI helps me to fetch data across various other platforms. And what are these platforms? You can see these are the different platforms that from where the Power BI can fetch it details. Let's start and see what are the various uh, uh, database that we can surf across. As you can see by default, it is showing me the very first option as Excel. As you can, as you must be knowing that many of the organization use Excel database to store their information. Also, we have something called as access database. We can connect to a folder, XML files, a text or a CSV file also can be imported using this particular feature. Let's move down and check what are the various other options Options. We have IBM, we have MySQL database, that's we have already learned. Moving on, there's something called as Google Analytics that we can see right below. Also, we have something called as Azure database. We can get data from the Azure table storage or Azure blob storage. Azure analysis service database is also out here. Let's move down. Let's move down. There is something called as Google Analytics. As I said, so we have also we can also fetch the data using Facebook as well. So this is some latest feature that Power BI have updated itself so that we can fetch data across any platform that are available in the market. As you can see, there are a set of uh, sources from where we can fetch this particular database. As of now, we are going to fetch the database from an access file. So I need to scroll up and I'll click on access database and click on connect. The moment I click on connect, a pop up window will appear, which will ask me from where you want to fetch this data. So this is the file which I was searching for. I will simply click on it and hit on open. 
now the moment I click on open it is firstly establishing a connection to Power BI all right just wait for a moment okay so this navigator pane comes up in between and it is showing me all the different tables that we have across here so if I click on it if I click on this particular date or geography that is geo that's geographical manufacturer products so these are the different tables that I want to work with so if I click on it a preview can be seen on the right hand side all right so we will take all these tables for our analysis all right so I have selected all this table you can simply click on load it will automatically load all the information and give me this database so I'll simply click on load see what happens the moment I click on load all this database get added to the right hand side of my panel it will take couple of minutes because it's a very huge file and it will take a lots of time to load this information on my Power BI as you can see all this table get updated out here and we can start working on our Power BI reports using this particular database. Alright, so that's all for this video in which we learned how to connect to a database in Power BI.